Hey, if you're here, it's Mona, and uh, this is uh, Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> so today I'm going to do a he, she reading. And uh, the side's for he, the side's for she. I'm using little tiny cards because, you know, I don't have a lot of space. I'm limited with the space I have for you guys, but I'm still going to do it. And um, this is for um, November 4th. Or today is no, or uh, yeah, tomorrow is November fourth, so it's for you know November fourth, and um, I'd like to say subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos if you can. I see a lot of people come and checking out the, the channel, but they're not uh, subscribing. So if you could, that would be great. Also, um, hello to the subscribers that I have, and welcome any new subscribers. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's going on with him and her, he and she. I'm going to start out with um, him. We're going to find out what's going on in this situation between them. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So let's figure out what's going on with him for, um, uh, what do you call it, November 4th. Till there's no really extra time. It's just, uh, you know... However long it resonates with you, I guess. We're just trying to see what's going on. Apparently there's some, some juggling, some choices that need to be made. People staying up late at night, you know, being in their heads. Daydreaming about things. So, that's kind of his energy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and split these to get the overall energy. Okay, we have a Six of Cups. Somebody's remembering the past. All right, somebody's remembering the past, remembering giving it their love to somebody, and uh, so that's that's what they're thinking right now. That's what they're what's going on in their head right now for him. Uh, this could also be interchangeable, you know. So like you could have the male energy if you're a female, and if you're a male watching this, you could have the female energy. But I'm just gonna refer as this deck is him, that deck is her. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what's going on with him. Okay, well, we've got the King of Swords here. Perhaps he's wanting to come in and say something to somebody. Talking about maybe having some sort of Ten of Cups. But uh, there's secrets. There's secrets and, um, you know, it's hard to move forward when it comes to secrets, right? Usually want the truth. You can't just come in and say, oh, let's have a wonderful life. And then there's secrets. And that sucks. Okay, this King of Swords could be in the energy of um, planning to steal something from the Empress. And that's not very nice, is it? Maybe trying to come in, you know, act all nice and everything, and come in here and, and uh, to, to the Empress' place and just, like, steal from her. Right? Because maybe he's not uh, doing well with money right now might be trying to manifest something. But when he comes, he's going to come in as a page of swords. Trying to start some kind of new financial beginning with her, with the Empress. But, you know, a judgment has to be made on this situation. So basically, the King of Swords is thinking about the past. He's thinking about somebody, okay? And which most likely it's her. Okay? He's thinking of her. He's thinking about having a happy home. But there's secrets. And, you know, he could have been deceptive in the past. You know, most likely. To the Empress, uh, he, he wants to have the big, a new beginning with the Empress. But like I said, there's secrets. And he's trying to manifest this beginning, this new beginning. But, you know, he's coming in as the, pa the Page of Wands. Kind of like, you know, young, immature. Um, not knowledgeable on, you know, emotions or just, you know, likes to be very passionate, but there's no substance to that. But nonetheless, he's trying to come in with this Ace of Pentacles energy to start a new, you know, beginning of financial security. But I think she's going to try and see if there's a judgment that needs to be made in the situation. He or she, somebody needs to, you know, that judgment card's in reverse. So... Somebody's probably not making the right judgment on the situation. 
or they're not making the right choice in regards to this empress. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what's going on with her on her side. I'm going to leave that overall energy right there. Ah. All right. <clears throat> Just want to make sure that I put them back right side up. Oh, we have the world there too, by the way. Anyways, let's go ahead and start and see what's going on with her in this situation. Obviously, she wants to get rolling on a new beginning somewhere, and you know, the Wheel of Fortune. And, uh, yeah, you know, she's, she's kind of probably being a little bit defensive in situations. Maybe she wants to put death to a, a situation. She wants to end it. She's tired. She's tired of dealing with the... Maybe she's just tired of dealing with, you know, Page of Wands energies. You know? Somebody who doesn't give their time to, you know, any particular person, but pretty much just throws their energy around. And it's like, it's, you know, I gotta wait for my turn or what? Either way, there's gonna be some sort of... There's gonna be something coming in, I think. Some sort of information. Let's see what her energy is. Okay, the hermit. So she's going within, right? She's not really she's not really uh saying anything right now. She's uh I think she's planning. Okay. She's planning something. Maybe you know, she's planning not not planning evil or anything, but maybe planning something for herself in this case. Okay. Let's see what uh what is she doing? What is she planning? What's going on with her in regards to this he she reading for um November 4th reading. He, she reading. What do you got for us? Okay, we got the Queen of Pentacles. Financially stable. She is a married person, but... I don't know about in this case, right? Uh, this, she could be... Uh, this could be you. You could be a uh, Earth sign. Right? Number 14 there, number 14, that's the um, temperance card. Okay. So she's been patient. Queen of Pentacles has been patient in a situation. I'm trying to be patient anyways. That's temperance. This is judgment, I think. Judgment in reverse. Yep, sure is. This is the judgment card. She's making a judgment on something. And it's in reverse. Okay, or maybe she's not making a judgment. Maybe she's not doing anything. Because, you know, she's in hermit mode. Two of Pentacles. She might be juggling a situation. She might be juggling a lot, a lot of things in her life. She might be going through something right now, this uh, Queen of Pentacles. But she is, uh, you know, a judgment's being made. And she's been patient. And, you know, I think she's trying to juggle the ideas of whether or not to move forward or what. What is this? Two of Swords. Yeah, she's trying to make a her choice. She's trying to make a decision over something. Okay, she's trying to decide. She's trying to decide what it is that she's going to choose because you know, this is not juggling like juggling people, but she it's I think it's juggling uh. Juggling decisions is what it is. What is that? Ten of Swords. Yeah. She's not making any judgment because she's been stabbed in the back, and she sees that now. She knows. And then she's, uh, she's very defensive with this Queen of Swords. So she's holding the energy of the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords so far. Okay. And uh, it's, you know, she's juggling the ideas of whether or not she needs to go back somewhere because she's been stabbed in the back. 
And she's, you know, she's going to start a new beginning. But it doesn't look like, it doesn't appear that she's going to start a new beginning with anybody. Okay? At this present time. Too many cards. Too many cards. But you see what's there? The lover was, lovers is there. I just want to get one card, though, okay? One specific card. Oh! I didn't even see that one. It was like invisible. So I'll take that for this moment. This is a star card. So, I mean, she's in a situation. And I think she's she's thinking, you know, she has hope. She's hanging on to something. But um, I don't know. We'll see. What, let's see what he's doing now. After this, whatever we found out so far. I'm gonna make sure these are all right side up, you guys. All right. What was on her side? <laughs> Five of Wands arguing and bickering, huh? Maybe in her mind, in her thoughts, bottom of the deck. Three of Wands. She's waiting for her ships to come in, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what's going on still with the with, with him. What is he doing? What is he doing in this situation right now? What what situation is he in? He's lost hope. He's lost hope in this connection. What else do you have for him? And he's uh, maybe going on a new journey. He's lost hope. He's going. He wants a new beginning. He's he wants to take a leap of faith with somebody. Maybe somebody from the past. Maybe somebody from the past has returned. And he wants to start a passionate new beginning. And um, the star card's in reverse. He's lost hope. Um, justice has been um, handled here. Okay, there's some sort of justice that's going on here with him. He tried to build. He tried to start a new beginning and build something with somebody. He started passionately with that. Um, new beginning, but, uh, but what? Yeah, he tried to start something up with the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is really knowledgeable. She's psychic. She's intuitive. She knows what's going on. Can't fool her. Okay, you can't fool her. She's very emotional, but you can't fool her. You can't keep secrets from her. She'll find out. She's very intuitive. So he might be feeling that something is too much of a burden. This hope that he had in a situation that he thought was going to work. Or that he is, um, he lost hope for. Right? He lost hope for a situation. Justice was had. It was too much of a burden, right? So he started, he wanted to start a new beginning somewhere. And work on something with someone. He perhaps wanted marriage. Wanted to start something maybe, you know? New beginning, passionate new beginning with the Queen of Cups. And uh, maybe he's still waiting for her. Okay. First card out, though, was the, the star in reverse, so hope is lost, right? Well, that's what the cards say now. Let's see what, uh, what's going on on her side. Two cards in reverse were, were the uh, the star and um, ten of wands. You know, what's going on, on her side? What's going on in her situation? Is there? Is she looking for a new love? Is she still thinking about him? What is she feeling in this situation right now? Is she ready to move on? Right now, she's feeling to a sword. She's trying to make a decision. She's trying to make a decision because she remembers. She remembers. She remembers she was stabbed in the back. Okay? That's what this energy held for her. She remembered that. She remembers it. 
She's not, you know, maybe before, you know, maybe she was down the back before. She knew. But maybe now she's not accepting it. Okay. And she feels sad because of the loss. But she's got more options. She's got she's got two cups, extra cups waiting around. And, you know, maybe she's going to put effort for that. She stopped holding on. She's not going to hold on anymore. She's not going to hold on to this situation. She's not interested. She's not interested in the bullshit no more. Right? She's, you know, she, it was the Empress in reverse, but uh, it's not now because, I mean, it was the Empress, but now she's not the Empress. Not for this situation, at, at least. Seven of Swords. She was dis deceived. She knows it. She knows it. Right? She could even be dealing with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, who she's not holding on to anymore. Doesn't want to. Because of the backstabbing, manipulation. Deception. She doesn't want it. She doesn't want it no more. And we have the Nine of Wands. Okay? She, she's not fighting for this anymore. She doesn't want it. She's not fighting for it no more. She doesn't want to deal with it. You know? You know, she used to think of somebody as her world. Not no more. She don't want it. You know? Top and center. Backstabbed. You know? Ten of swords. She's good. Cycle's ended. She's moving forward. And she's not dealing with it anymore. She doesn't want any of this. She doesn't want anything to do with him anymore. Okay. Because, you know, she's better than that. She doesn't need that crap. She doesn't want to deal with people like that. She's trying to find her way. Trying to be happy. Trying to find uh, happiness in her life. I'm not trying to deal with no bullshit. Right? Queen of Wands. Passionate. But she's going to bring take her passion some, somewhere else. You know? She doesn't want to have to defend herself anymore. Seven of Wands, bottom of the deck. So, uh, what's, 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 you know, <laughs> the star card in reverse flew out, but I'm not going to take it. Uh, okay, let's make it right side up, though. Okay, bottom of the deck. Someone's moving away from a situation. He is. So, <clears throat> what is he, what's going on with him now? I mean, does he know that, that she's not accepting him anymore? Does she, does he know that she's you know, moving on? Does he know, does, is she know his, uh, does he know, or is she hiding anything? Is, is there still secrets involved in this situation? You know? Is he going to be able to know any kind of information for her to tell her anything? Or is it just going to be the end? Or is he going to get on the fortune with her or someone else? So, <clears throat> what's going on with him? Finally, in this situation, I mean, is he moving forward? What's going on, you know, with him since he knows now that uh, things have ended? Got the high priestess, right? The high priestess, you know, she's a mysterious. He knows. He might be thinking of her in this energy. Right? You know, she knows what's going on. And this is why, you know, he's having such a hard time. Right? She knows his secrets. But even, and, and, and that's why he's not approaching, maybe. Maybe that's why he's not approaching, because she knows his secrets. But he's not moving away from this situation. I thought he was, but he's not. Somebody's not moving away. Right? They're staying right where they are. They might have wanted to move away and move forward, but now they're not. And they're moving away from the High Priestess, or the Empress, right? Staying, maybe maybe they're married, staying with the marriage. Not moving forward towards the High Priestess because he knows that the High Priestess has, um, or the Empress has shut him out. 
and she's not really willing to move forward with him right now because she knows. She knows the secrets. See? So, death in reverse. Maybe he's not leaving the marriage now. Now that he knows that, you know, the empress, the, the, the one that he, he wanted to be with, the one he wanted to move away with, is not dealing with him anymore. We have the death card in reverse. It's He brought his uh, current relationship back to fruition because he knows he can't move forward with the empress. And... Um, he might be dealing now with the, he might be moving away from uh, this Queen of Wands. The Empress could be holding the Queen of Wands energy. Yeah. That's why he's doing it, because the Empress has walked away. The Empress walked away from him, and he's uh, not moving forward with her. And he's, he's brought an end to the situation he's in now, <laughs> because it's a burden, but... He's really trying to manifest back this uh, Queen of Wands, though. Right? The Empress, she could have a Leo, uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries in her chart. Fire sign. She's walking away, though, and he's trying to manifest it back. Okay, he's trying to manifest the situation back. And, you know, his money's not doing so well. He was waiting for his seeds to grow, but they're not growing anymore. Why? Because she walked away. She's good. She is good. And that's why there's no been no movement here. There's been no coming to tell the truth. Why? Well, somebody was not, you know, being honest. Somebody was holding back, not telling the information, holding out on the information, you know, not communicating, ghosting, you know. What else? What do you expect, right? What do you expect from that? And uh, what is she doing? What is she doing? You know, she's trying to, she's weighing the scales here. She's weighing the... Her options. That's what she's doing. I'm trying to see what kind of options she has now. Tell us what's going on with her. Five of Swords. Oh, something right underneath too. New emotional beginning because uh, no e new emotional beginning because of words that were said, things that were said, rude, mean, nasty things. So she's not having a new beginning with this person. No way. Hell no. She's not going to share her emotions with no one. Not right now. I think she's going to start working on other things. But not with him. Because, you know, he hasn't come in. Hasn't made no effort. And nobody wants someone like that. Ain't going to make no effort for them. So she's good. That's why she put it to an end. That's why the, that, that uh, Ace of Cups is in reverse. And we got the Four of Pentacles. Well, she's, uh, I mean, Four of Pentacles is, is uh, being stingy. You know, she's being stingy with her heart, possibly. She's going to be stingy with her emotions, is what it is. Because of what has happened. Two of Pentacles, because of the juggling. The fighting, the juggling. She's not going to deal with it. Okay, she threw that fool out in the cold. And she's going to get her wish fulfillment elsewhere. You know, she's going to find her nine of cups elsewhere. She's not going to find it with him, that's for sure. Princess of Wands. Okay, she's starting new passions. Ace of Wands, see that? Starting new beginnings in passion. The tower has been brought in. She's not going to deal with uh, this person anymore. She walked, She's walking away. She's going to find her own nine of cups elsewhere. She's hanging on to her emotions. She's hanging on to her heart. And that's it. So if you guys want to uh, get any extra information on this, or if you want to um, get a reading, um, there's information... Um, if you go to my very first, first reading, you're going to find accurate information on how to get a hold of me, how to donate and all that stuff. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the he, she reading. You know what? Let me go ahead and pull a, uh, surrender card 
depending on, you know, whatever, whatever situation you're resonating with, whoever's watching, he or she. I'm going to pull two um, cards. I'm going to pull a he and a she surrender card, okay? That way um, it can be uh, for the individual, right? <clears throat> so, yeah. I know I could probably find a better time to do this, right? Okay. So, how about that? Cards right here, actually. So we're gonna find out uh, what the watchers, either he or she, we're gonna find out what they need to surrender to that to today, because of this he she reading and how they're dealing with whatever situation they're in. Okay. Keep your head up, you guys. Things happen for a reason, and everything happens in divine timing, right? I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. He. She. Ha 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 There you have it. Surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So he might be dealing with like, uh, just he's a super controlling guy. Ain't nobody want that. She's got surrender to joy, though. But look at the colors are the same. Huh, what a quinky dink. The key to, a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. And that's beautiful. And then, yeah, just keep on keeping on. You know, she's going to just keep on keeping on because, you know, she knows what happened in the past. She's tired. And, you know, maybe before she might have taken him back and everything, but not now. Too much time has passed, and that has allowed her time to think about the situation and what's going on. She knows now. She knows now. And she's not going to fall. She's not going to deal with it. She's like, gosh, how stupid I was. How stupid I was to, to not see this. But she sees it. She sees the light now. She sees it. And she's not going to deal with it no more. Mm -mm. She put that shit to rest. Time to move forward. She's going to start working on herself. She's going to find her own love. And what he's going to do, he's going to stay in that burnt out relationship that he's in, that marriage that he's not happy in. Because that's all he can do. Because he has nothing. You know? He's going to try and, you know, restart that because he can't run. There's nowhere to run now. She's not going to take him back. So he's going to stay with whoever he's with. Love the one you're with, right? Anyhow, you guys, um, I want to wish all you guys a lot of joy, right? Joy and happiness. Whoever's watching, try not to be so controlling. You know, still got to learn some lessons. You still got lessons to learn, mister. Or whoever's holding this um, male energy. You know, she is moving on. Look at her. She's flying in the sky, happy, you know, doing her thing, flying. She's soaring with the birds. And, uh... You know, I mean, I can't wait for everybody forever. You know, I know Spirit has asked us to not give up, blah, 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 in a lot of situations, but maybe he's not, maybe Spirit's not saying to actually give up, but maybe Spirit's ask, asking you to just move forward, move ahead with your own life, you know, because this person is not going to see the light anytime soon. They're not realizing what their path is and they're working against uh, Spirit. And Spirit's just going to throw them curveballs after curveball after curveball. And, you know, they're not going to get no home runs. While you surrender to joy and happiness and get your life going and start your happiness, you know, don't don't wait around for, for him, you know. Move forward. You can be doing all this fun stuff and happy stuff while he's suffering in his bad decisions. So, yeah, that's the He and She reading for November 4th. My name is Mona. You found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. I'm wishing all you joy, love, happiness, and all that good stuff. Thanks for coming to my subscribers, and welcome any new subscribers. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and share these videos. I would much appreciate it, and I will definitely see you guys next time.